Listen up, this is only gonna take a minute. My name is Dylan Gallagher, founder of Emily Now. My goal is to provide practical and simple content entrepreneurs can use to increase the value of their business. My hope is that you'd be entertained and encouraged because let's face it, being an entrepreneur, it's not always easy. Sometimes it helps to discover what others are doing. So thanks for hanging out and let's get to it. Sometimes there's a topic that I just can't wait to talk about. Today is one of those topics and you might think that I'm a I'm a mean, evil, spirited person for picking this as my topic, but the truth is this is really where I've spent 20 years of my career. And so the headline goes something like this, 99 cents only stores. Another sad debt story. And so this headline uh, is about the discount chain out of uh, California, looks like, called 99 cents only. It's kind of a mouthful, actually, if you think about it. But they're in the news today um, because they're scrambling to restructure their borrowings uh, tied to some historical transactions that they put together. And uh, now it's hit the news uh, because the financiers, to quote, using over aggressive projections to load up a business with more debt than it can withstand. And then that sentence is followed by a bunch of paragraphs, but the one that stuck out to me that kind of bolts all of this together is further evidence of the headaches is that since the buyout, meaning the transaction that now the company is having a hard time figuring out, um, since the transaction, uh, 99 cents only has had five CFOs and five CEOs, both permanent and interim. Now, I can't avoid the obvious. Remember, these episodes are meant to uh, encourage you and maybe entertain you. I'm not a very entertaining guy, but sometimes I have to call it as I see it. And in this particular case, 99 cents only. Say that like 10 times fast. It's not, it like, doesn't really roll off the tongue. So maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know. But here's the point. In order to do one of their big deals, one of their big restructurings to presumably grow, they had a bunch of financiers give them some over aggressive projections that loaded them up with debt. Debt, as you know, if you've been listening to these episodes, is basically taking the future and using it today because you think if you're able to do that, that somehow you can produce a better result uh, in the future. So, and if all of that confused you, just know that borrowing means you're taking tomorrow's result and using it today. So the logic would be that if you're gonna do that, it's because tomorrow you think that there's a better result. And if not, don't borrow, really simple. Um, so anyway, they loaded up this company with a bunch of debt using these over aggressive projections. And so this is kind of the part that spoke to me. A, that there's these professionals that have rolled through the business and CEOs, CFOs, really, really smart people. And I can't believe how many entrepreneurs have said to me, but Dell and I hired these smart people. They're supposed to do something. And the truth is just because you hire smart people doesn't mean you get a smart result. In fact, uh, I would argue that it's the entrepreneur's fault that you know a business has to roll through lots of different accountants or operations managers or whatever, because most times what it means is that the business, the entrepreneur, is probably just not listening to what they're saying or doesn't know how to do something with what they're saying. And so they put up their hands in resignation and say, that's it, I'm out, uh, you figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, I'm gonna fire you and hire someone else. And ultimately that gets a business nowhere. But overly aggressive projections are the bane of every business. And this just this article just goes to show you that whether you're carrying $800,000 worth of debt, or in this case, $800 million worth of debt, um, uh, if you've got debt, you're not alone. Every business that I'm aware of uses debt in some shape or form. Healthy businesses use it to grow and to float their business uh, from a cash flow perspective. Businesses that aren't good businesses, they use debt to gloss over, most times, an, in a, an inefficiency or a problem, and they borrow against the future to do that. So over overly aggressive projections are just part of running a business, but ultimately it has to be the entrepreneur, the owner that steps up and says, here's how we're gonna deliver on these projections and I'm gonna make it my mission to make sure that I deliver on that result. And I'm gonna use professionals in their capacity, which is to give me the knowledge I don't have so I can make smart decisions, but I'm gonna let them do the work. I'm gonna let them to come to their conclusions, but I'm the buck stops with me. Ultimately, I have to make a decision about what I'm doing with my business. So there's never a better time to start having that conversation with yourself or with your team than if your business is in debt and doesn't know how to get out. 
Um, you got to get the smart people around you. You've got to put some strategies together, but then quite frankly, you got to pull the trigger and you got to get to work making it work. If you don't have a plan, then ultimately you're going to get what you've planned for, which is nothing. And if you're holding debt, nothing typically means literally nothing. You could lose your business if that's what your plan is. But if you've got a plan, at least you got something to work with, something to measure against. But you know, that's probably for another episode because not every entrepreneur likes planning. In fact, entrepreneurs kind of pride themselves in being off the cuff and whimsical and so forth. But guess what? That's also kind of the the business you end up building as well. And I'm, hey, just because I say this stuff doesn't mean I'm any smarter than anybody else. It just means I say it. I still struggle with it. I mean, I ran a successful business into the ground for these exact same reasons. And uh, now I'm trying to use my experience to, to help other entrepreneurs and other businesses not fall down uh, the same hole that I fell down. But hey, advice is only as good as what you pay for it. So that uh, that's all I've got to rant on today. I saw this headline about debt, about over aggressive projections, about multiple CEOs and CFOs. And I thought, you know what? There's probably an entrepreneur out there listening to this that goes, oh, wow, that's me. And if that's you, hopefully the advice here is use the professionals to help you make smart decisions. But if you've got debt, um, don't make overly aggressive projections or don't even make projections at all. Put a plan together. Figure out how you're going to work your way out of it. Um, If you need help, get the help that you need. If all you need is focus, then get to work. And, um, you know, if you need someone to help you out, certainly I'd be happy to do that. So that's all I've got today. Thanks for tuning in. I will connect with you on the next episode.